Hey, in this video, we are going to talk about why you flip the sign when you are solving an equality and we multiply or divide by a negative. Okay. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I will link an example where we do this <laughs> in a normal problem. Um, here, I'm going to be showing you why we do it. Okay. A lot of times in math, you're like, we tell you to do something and you're like, okay, but you don't necessarily know why. So that's what this video is for. Okay. So if I were solving this, I'm trying to get X alone, right? So I would subtract 12 from both sides da, 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 and get negative X is less than seven minus 12 gives me a negative five. Okay. So here we are. X is alone, but it's negative. So it's not, it's not really alone. We want it to be positive. And there are two ways we could use to get X to be positive. Okay. So look at this. We are going to look at these two different ways. Okay. One way would be, all right, we've got our negative X is less than negative five. Okay. One way to get X to be positive would be to add X to both sides, right? That'll get it positive. Add X to both sides. So then I'm left with zero is less than X minus five, but we want X alone, right? So I'm going to add five to both sides. Okay, so we get five is less than X, right? Or we could write it as X is greater than five. Either way means the same thing, right? So it could be either one of those. All right. Another way that we could get um, X to be positive would be, here we go. We've got our negative X is less than negative five. Another way to get it positive would be to multiply or divide by a negative one. Okay. So if I multiply by a negative one, that gets my X positive, right? But watch what happens if I don't flip the sign like I'm supposed to, right? If I don't flip it, I'm going to do it in red so you know it's bad. Okay. <laughs> this is what we don't do. If we don't flip it, I end up with X is less than positive five. But look, that does not match up, right? So somebody smarter than me in math land figured out, okay, well, if we multiply or divide by a negative one, which we should be able to do, we end up with, sorry guys, we end up with a different answer. So then they figured out, hey, but whenever we multiply or divide by a negative one, if we flip the sign, the answer still comes out true. Okay. So remember, whenever you multiply or divide by a negative, when you are doing um, inequalities to flip the sign to make sure it stays true. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. I will link some other inequality videos if you need them and talk to you later. Bye.